the best news to come out of this kind of last couple of days has been the clear indication that Qatar is definitely in the lead to buy Man United. There was this real brief period where a lot of us were getting worried, myself included, and I was getting really afraid of my flipping mental health <laughs> that I was going to have to main, you know, endure another 10 plus years of partial Glazer ownership if flipping Sir Jim Ratcliffe ended up um, being successful in his bid for partial ownership of the club. But now it's looking like Qatar's, you know, take it or leave it, $6 billion um, deal or offer has now been seriously considered by the Glazers and they're considering accepting it. So they look at the front runners. And this is news courtesy of Reuters that says as, as follows as well. Exclusive. May United negotiate exclusivity um, with Qatar's Sheikh Jassim in 6 billion plus sell talks. It should be exclusively, right? Or exclusive, it doesn't matter. Um, so clearly Sheikh Jassim is in a lead. I'm over the moon. I don't really care who it is. I think I'm not really, I don't know, maybe the Qatar ownership has a different sort of tint to it. People kind of see what's been happening with other Middle East, Middle Eastern owners and again, a bit excited, but I've never really been bothered about who the profile the person is. My main prerogative has always been whoever comes and puts in an offer for my and I want him to put an offer for the entire thing no partial no nothing full ownership and kick the glazers out asap get rid of every single banker crony rubbish flipping nonsense you know um paper shuffler that was in the building that they hired and start all again from scratch i don't care if that means we have to finish six for flipping two seasons in a row i want us to actually put together a coherent and a very kind of you know detail oriented sporting project and then kind of fill in the gaps as need be you know across the uh, you know during time that we kind of go on that's basically my main prerogative i didn't really care about who it was but if it's the qataris and they're offering the full amount and they want to take the glazers out then i'm all for it to be honest i'm all flipping for it it continues that English Football Club Man United is negotiating granting exclusivity to the consortium led by Qatar Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Tahini in talks to sell itself for more than six billion dollars. People familiar with the matter have said on Thursday. While the deal remains uncertain, the development represents a major milestone in the efforts of Sheikh Jassim, the son of Qatar's former prime minister, who is one of the richest men in the Gulf state, to take over the iconic sports brand. Members of the Glazer family who own minority stakes in Man United and control it thanks to the dual class share structure would be cashing out as part of the proposed deal one source said the guitar is currently being viewed by the glazers as more favorable than a bit from british billionaire jim reckler founder of chemicals producer ionos and sources i did Ratcliffe's offer envisions that the Glazers would keep some interest in Man United. Man United would not be allowed to negotiate with any bidder other than Sheikh Jassim for exclusivity period. It could not be learned how long this period may last. The sources caution the situation remain fluid and new bidder Ratcliffe could prevent Sheikh Jassim from securing the exclusivity. So it's unlikely because, you know, from what I've been reading, Ratcliffe had to raise quite a lot of money just for the partial ownership offer or bid sorry so it would be really um surprising if Ratcliffe is able to kind of turn around and say hey I've got more money for full control of the club that'd be really interesting but it could happen um I've also been led to believe that the protest is going to take anywhere between I think like someone said that eight to twelve weeks so it's going to probably lead into or bleed into next season which is really annoying which means that the transfer windows all but kind of null and void for us now going forward you would imagine if you're the Glazers do you really want to spend even if it's not your money do you want to spend any money between now and the sale um if you're going to sell you know within flipping the next couple of months or so it doesn't really make any sense but obviously for us as a club it's going to mean that we're going to be um starting the season off with basically the same squad that we ended um this season with or that's just gone which is kind of upsetting but again if it means that we start again from scratch and we actually have a coherent sporting project and we actually have you know um accountability at the club for once in terms of a sporting club of a football club then i'm all for it it continues Sources requested anonymity because the matter is confidential. Representative May United and Sheikh Jassim did not immediately respond. Shares of May United jumped as much as 15% on the news and ended trading in New York City Thursday at 6.8% with $24.81. A $6 billion plus deal for May United would be one of the biggest ever in the sports world following a similar size sale for National Football League's Washington Comrades um, Commander sorry, earlier this year. It would also be represent a significant premium to other soccer deals last 
last year the 3.1 billion acquisition of Chelsea Football Club by an investment group led by Todd Bowley and Clear Lake Capital valued it at 5.7 times revenue for its last financial year. A sale for more than 6 billion would also value Man United at more than 10 times last year's annual revenue according to the Refinite data. The Glazer family which made its fortune in real estate and healthcare and retail also owns NFL's Tampa Bay Buccaneers bought the team for 790 million pounds 1 billion in 2005 so it's a big come up for them to be honest um record 20 time English championship champions Man United have over 600 million fans worldwide according to market research from Cantor and a large number of them have been clamoring for a change of ownership um, that is because the Glazers have overseen a significant downturn in the club's fortunes, with the club winning just the last of their 20 top flight titles in the former Manchester Ferguson's Ferguson final season in charge in 2012-13. Jesus Christ, it's been a long time. But yeah, we need it more than ever, especially now with the competition in the league, um, especially now with the competition in Europe. We just need an ownership that gets it that wants us to actually win trophies that isn't preoccupied more so with us finishing fourth and whatnot. And then when we finish fourth, doesn't give the managers funds to kind of push from then on. We don't need that. We don't need, um, you know, owners who are going to see players contracts as a way to kind of, you know, players contract renewal, sorry, as a way to kind of add value to the club. This is a really strange glazing on glazer and on, economics that they do right um where they essentially um will give a player sometimes that isn't even playing well who isn't even getting game time a contract extension just because they feel like it's going to add value to them and it's going to increase the possibility for the Blazers to sell that player for more than maybe they purchased or to kind of get the money back I don't know what it is but regardless it means that we end up hemorrhaging players we end up having an overinflated um you know um ill-balanced squad overall and it just really dampens our opportunity to kind of go out and get new players in, new talent in to fresh up the squad and whatnot. So all that stuff is usually really concerning for me. But this is really good news. I'm hoping um, whoever does purchase the club, I don't really care who it is between the both of Ratcliffe and um, what you call it, Sheikh Jassim. Even though Ratcliffe kind of, you know, did snake us by saying he's a United fan and then being happy to do a deal where he'd give the Glazers partial ownership. It's fair to say that he's clearly not a United fan that kind of has United best interest at heart because if best interest was at heart, there's no way you would accept that sort of deal but that aside if he comes back on the table and says hey i got the money i can blow these guys out of the wall i'm gonna give you seven or eight or ten billion then fair whatever but i just want someone to come in who actually has a plan for the club going forward a sporting project not something you know concerned overly with money and top four finishes and whatnot no something that involves us winning trophies um challenging for the league challenging for domestic cups and all that good stuff and european trophies of course that's what i want to see and I'm hoping we see that very very soon but definitely good news on the Manchester United front definitely good news on the Manchester United front 